everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I am doing some decorating. I am going to be doing some things here in my kitchen and in the family room and I'm trying to find like a beautiful cozy feel somewhere between winter and spring. So I came up with some ideas and I wanted to share them with you. I am sticking with some neutrals and then adding some green and blue in there as well. You guys are going to love this one. If you are new to my channel, I want to say thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel and check out my Instagram as well. I post a lot of stuff over there as well. So go check me out. Let's just go ahead and get right into today's video. For Christmas, I incorporated a lot of this red and burgundy and I absolutely loved it. I love how that red popped against the cream couch in this tall pillow. And then over on the mantel here, I had some burgundy flowers in this planter. I loved it everything was so pretty and I truly was gonna keep it up for a lot longer than I intended but I felt like I needed to kind of switch things up a little bit and I like to use blue around this time every season like right after Christmas is over and it's kind of that in between you can't really decorate for spring yet but you want to kind of lighten things up and take that dark away with the red so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I am going to be adding some blue here in the kitchen. I'm just sharing my balance that I have up here right now. And just subtly adding some softer colors here in my home. I'm going to switch things up here over on the sofa first and I shared the sofa a few months back and I absolutely love it so much. It has covers that you can take off and wash and everything. I will have it linked in my description box if you are interested. So these are the pillow covers that I purchased off of Amazon and I wanted to share this green ticking uh, pillow cover with you that has this cute little ruffle on it. Even though eventually I didn't use it, I was planning on using it on the sofa with the blue, but once I put those blue covers up, I really, really liked the way they looked against the linen larger ones. So instead of throwing these in the washer like I normally do, I'm just going to take my iron and iron out all those wrinkles because nobody wants the wrinkles on their pillow covers. So I'm just doing this really quickly and it's actually kind of relaxing. But once I have this all done, I'm going to go ahead and share how I fit these on and what they look like. And I will have links to both of these pillow covers in my description box if you are interested. Before, when I would decorate from my home, I would always find new pillows that I wanted to use and switch things out because I get bored with things and I would most likely go to home goods and I would find these adorable pillows and end up with a ton of pillows. 
So lately I've just been replacing my pillow covers, which is actually less expensive and you don't have a ton of pillows that you are storing everywhere. And this is a wonderful idea and I did find this site that sold these toile printed pillow covers and the quality is amazing. Sometimes you just don't know what you're gonna get when you're purchasing things online and sometimes they could look beautiful in a photo and then once you get them they look really cheap and very um, the quality just looks really bad but I do have to tell you the quality of these are amazing and they were not very expensive at all and I do believe they came in I want to say they came in a pack of two but I could be wrong I'll double check that and make sure that I leave that linked in my description box but I love these and Toile is such a classic print to French country decor. When I first thought to switch things up here in this room, I was going to completely redo the mantle, put something completely different up here, but I really loved the way this planter looked. It was simple and beautiful, and I figured if I just switch out those florals, it will make a really big difference and still look simple and beautiful. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't go out and purchase anything to recreate this look. I just went through my bins and I had some florals that were green and I also had this garland. It's like a um, eucalyptus garland and I believe I purchased it a really long time ago. I don't know I think it was at Hobby Lobby and I just kind of th like kind of swagged it on here and had like the sides cascading over and it worked out perfectly as a filler and then I just took my green hyd hydrangeas and a couple little white flowers and added them to this planter and it really achieved the look that I was going for. Such a constellation right no you to agree made a reputation for ourselves at H18. We had the devil on our shoulders telling us what we should do. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold. to this look I'm going to add these rustic looking birds over here I'm setting one on top of this stack of books and then one right below it and I feel like this is really kind of bringing in that spring without really pushing it with the spring I'm holding off on the bunnies and the more spring type decor but I think these birds look really pretty over here I've had these for a really long time and they were sitting in my china cabinet, but I like to take things from other rooms and just kind of move them around and it really makes me feel like there are new items in a room and I think that's a really good idea to do so you're not going out and purchasing things every time you want to decorate. I really suggest looking around the room, looking in other rooms and just moving things around. You would be surprised at what you can come up with and how you can decorate in so many different ways with the same items. This is another item that I purchased a few years ago and I love it. I am obsessed with the toile print and I love this blue toile valance that I found on Amazon a while ago. And I think it just looks so pretty here in the kitchen. And for some reason, blue and white in kitchens, it just looks so pretty. I really, really love 
the look and it's very soothing to me. So I'm just gonna put this back up and I will leave it linked in my description box if you are interested. If you see something in my kitchen or my living room or anywhere in my home that you do want a link for, I will be more than happy to send that to you. Just go ahead and leave a comment in my comment section letting me know what you're looking for and what link that you would like to have and I if I do have a link for it I promise you I will be more than happy to give it but go ahead and look in my description box first because I'm going to try and link a lot of stuff in there and then just to kind of balance things out over here I wanted to add a little bit of green on this wall and I have loved this cutting board here and I have not taken it down but I do like to have a little bit of decor on it so I thought adding some greenery would fit perfectly here in the kitchen and then over here on my china cabinet I wanted to add some green and I thought about adding something over the top like a pretty garland and maybe some more of those green florals but then I really just wanted to keep it simple so I found this wreath in one of my bins and then I added a cream colored ribbon and then just hung it right there on the top and I loved how simple it looked but it added a little tiny pop of something and I'm just loving the vibe all of this is giving I love that tiny bit of green that blue and those pretty neutrals with the cream and tan and everything is just giving me all those cozy feels well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that it gave you some decorating ideas. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up and a comment and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye.